Hi. For everyone who doesn't know me, I made an embroidery pattern that you can find for free in the description. I'm going to talk about um, how exactly I did this in a few seconds. But first, for all of you who do know me and who have been following along with this little spooky series, I just quickly wanted to say that I'm really sorry that there isn't really an, any crafting going on today. I got a bit sick last week and had less time to film than I thought. I did try to film something, but it also just didn't really turn out very well. Yeah, it's it's not really, it's not good footage and I don't know, I just didn't feel like making a video out of it because I, I didn't like what I did. But I also, I don't want to leave you with nothing. So I still made the embroidery pattern and it's this cute little pumpkin. By the way, you, you can still see pieces of the water soluble canvas. I didn't wash it off properly and I also, I, I don't have time now to wash it off again and let it dry. So I'm just Ignore that, please. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is the pattern I created. It's a pumpkin made out of flowers and other plants. I think it's really pretty. I like how it turned out. As I said, you can find the pattern, a link to a pattern in the description for free. It's again, just a link to a, a PDF document on Google Drive. Um, <laughs> I am currently working on a better way for me to give patterns away. I do want to have a website one day, but yeah, making one takes time. So um, for now it's it's a link to a Google Drive, but uh, yeah, you, you can find the pattern there. I'm not going to show you the process today because as I said, I didn't really manage to film that very well. So I just wanted to quickly tell you how I did this. Which stitches I used uh, that is in the pattern. In the PDF file, there's one in black and white, that's better for printing and then a colored one where I where you can see which stitches to use. If you are new to embroidery, um, those are all very easy stitches. So even if you're just starting out, this is a pattern you can easily do. If you don't know how the stitches work, there are a lot of videos on YouTube explaining them very well. So just type the stitches in on YouTube and you will find how they work. I'm sorry, I can't show you today, but uh, yeah, you, you will get the pattern here. And be because it's, this is all quite small, not, not the whole thing, the whole thing is quite big but the flowers and plants are quite small so I used two pieces of um, two two strings of embroidery floss for everything for the entire project as I said you can find the stitches which stitches to use in the pattern for the flowers for the lazy daisy flowers the middle of the lazy daisy flowers I did French knots there and depending on the size of the flowers I did two French knots or more that's you can decide on your own how many you do just do enough that the middle part is filled out very nicely for the lazy daisies i wrapped the embroidery floss around my needle once and for these french knots you can't really see them on camera these dark red ones uh, i did the same and then for these bright yellow green french knots i always wrap the embroidery floss around my needle twice so that the knots would be a little bit bigger i think that's all you need to know this is how i did it um, no, one more thing, because there are a few, a few lazy daisy flowers that are cut off and wherever that happened, I didn't use the lazy daisy stitch. I just did straight stitches from the middle to the border and then another one. So just go up in the middle and go down back at the border. I think that's all you need to know to create this beautiful piece. I used a bunch of fall themed colors, so a bunch of reds, orange, yellow. Uh, you can of course use whichever colors you want, whichever colors you like. If anyone makes this pattern, then I would very much love to see it. You can tag me on Instagram or send it to me on Instagram if you don't want to post it. My Instagram is Finias Arts and Crafts, or you can also find a link to my Instagram in the description. So yeah, if anyone does this, please show me. I would love to see it. And um, yeah, this is what I have for you for the last spooky arts and crafts. Again, I'm sorry, this isn't really a video. <laughs> nothing really happened in this video. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to quickly say hello, quickly show you this. And I hope you enjoyed this entire spooky series. I did. I'm going to take the rest of the week off because I have some other stuff to do. And then I'm going to be back with more videos. And I'm very excited. I'm going to give myself more than a week for the next videos that I have planned because then I can make better videos because I have more time, you know? Um, yeah, but I will be back and I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoy this pattern and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.